Hey everyone, this is Shrutvika Rajendran from Team Turbo360. Today, I am super excited to walk you through some of the awesome new features that we have just rolled out. So first up, we have this new executive reports feature in the cost analyzer. This is honestly such a time saver. So basically, instead of you having to dig through all your Azure spending data manually, these reports automatically pull together your overall Azure spending, identify potential savings and presence recommendations in a presentation-ready format. And the best part, you can also schedule these weekly or monthly so that the decision makers stay informed. Setting it up is super easy. Just go to the monitoring section, find group notifications and click manage. Look for set executive summary as cost report. And also, if you need a monthly cost summary right now, just hit generate now and you'll get an instant comparison between this month and last month along with its difference. Here is a sample of how it looks. You can get detailed reports on cost summary, subscription cost changes, right sizing recommendations and much more. Next, let's talk about the new cost budgeting feature. This is really cool for anyone to plan, forecast and keep their cloud spending under control. You can now track spending trends over the past 12 months, set custom budgets and view everything in easy to understand charts. To find this, click on the context menu of your group and look for budget planner under tools. Then just hit configure to set your budget. This shows you the expected cost growth compared to the last month. Super helpful for planning ahead and avoiding those why is our bill so high conversations. The new cost monitoring feature lets you temporarily cost monitoring for resources or groups for a specific time period, perfectly for planned maintenance or non-critical hours. To use it, just go to the business applications and click the context menu next to any group or application and select cost monitoring. From there, you can set your time zone, how long to pass, start and end dates, whatever works for your maintenance schedule. If you've used custom logging before, you probably know about the export import feature. Well, the good news is that we have bought the same functionality to business transaction in data queries. It's super easy. Just head on to the BAM section and click on transactions. You will find the options for import and export. This is fantastic if you're working across different environments or need to share configurations with teammates. Export from one place, import somewhere else and you're good to go. No rebuilding everything from scratch. And finally, we've bought this little but super important feature, direct access to Azure resources right from our portal. There's now an option that lets you jump straight to the resources in Azure with just one click. This works in both business applications and cost analyzer modules, making your workflow so much smoother. So that's it for this month. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions regarding the features or how to use them. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Azure management tips. And if you haven't tried Turbo360 yet, hit on the link in the description to try it out today with a 15-day free trial. See you then.